it's time to head to the cave. So we've been done with that first race for about an hour and I still feel just windblown, exhausted. But anyway, first race actually went pretty well. I ended up with uh, 16 laps and I think I got sixth place. So and the guys over here in Kansas City are super fast. There was actually two younger guys. They're probably in their teens, I'm not trying to call them kids, but they were definitely young. It's from Wichita. It was their very first race. They don't fly on Sims ever and they got first and second. The dudes were freaking ridiculously fast. Anyway, congrats to those two, but uh, let's get on up the road and go race in a cave. <laughs> may be bigger than the mega caverns but the cool thing is i got to drive in let's get this stuff uh, unloaded and uh, we'll get ready to race let's do it So I just got done with my first qualifying heat. I had a practice round and then my first qualifying heat. The practice round was a disaster. Video cut out and I landed and I thought I lost video, but my battery came unplugged. So that was a bummer, but I just did my first qualifying round. Took off, got completely lost. Flew around in circles for a bit. Not too shabby, I guess. A lot of pilots here, check this out. Tons of pilots. People rolling around on hoverboards, I guess. That's what you call them. I was able to repair one of the floss builds. Good times. with uh, Michael and Caleb. Uh, we're here at the evening race in the caves in Kansas City, but these guys, it was their very first race this morning, uh, organized race, right? Yeah. In Kansas City, they drove up from Wichita, Kansas, and they got first place and second place. Pretty ridiculous. So yeah. what's your race handle? What do you go by? MCC FPV. And you? Uh, KD FPV. Right on. Kind of what got you into the sport? Well, he got me into it, but I flew airplanes before it. And then I ended up getting a quad because of him. And it was a friend into a friend, then I met him. Right on. So did you know each other before quads? Nope. No? Right on. And what got you into it? I also used to fly planes. Okay. And then I decided to do this. That's a bit of a trend with like a lot of the young guys. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 18. 18 and? 15. 15. So young guys, that's a trend I've seen. There's a pilot named Evan, heads up FPV, yep. one of the fastest guys in the country. I've seen him fly several times and he was like world-class plane plane guy, right? Yeah. And uh, he came on the scene racing kind of like you guys have and just crushed it. So uh, what did you think coming into this race? Did you think you were going to do as well as you did? See, we race at home a lot. So not being exposed to a lot of people. I raced with him and like seeing him beating by like a little bit or him beating me by a little bit, I didn't think there was much to it. Like that we would, how fast or slow other people would be. So we weren't expecting much. We were just focusing on not crashing more than it was anything else. Yeah. I mean, you guys had some really quick laps too. I mean. Yeah, a couple 18 seconds. And I was, I was struggling to get 27 second laps. First race, getting 18 second laps. So pretty ridiculous. But uh, are you excited to do, to do more racing? Yeah. Like, do you have a preference racing or freestyle? Racing. I like racing. racing. I like racing. Yeah. Do you have anyone that you kind of want to thank? Are you a sponsored no, pilot yet? Not, not kind like of, a real but, sponsor. Yeah. But. I mean, our mentor, True Quatch, yep. Yep. Kinetic Aerial, shout them out. We're running all their frames. They have some uh, prototype frames too, yep. I saw. They're pretty, We're running prototypes. Some pretty slick uh, racing frames. So anyway, guys, well, congratulations. You did awesome. Thank you. Hopefully you, you win tonight too. You like with the, with the Bifecta. Good racing, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of you in the future. So this is your first look at Michael and Caleb drone racing extraordinaire so let's get back to cave racing Fourth heat, fifth, fifth, fourth, fourth. Phenomenal fourth heat. I got six laps. 
which was incredible, super pumped up. I broke 20 seconds for one of my laps, which was pretty good. Now Hot Nasty and Rigo, those guys are down to like 15, 16 seconds, but I'm very, very happy with a 19 second lap. I'm gonna keep pushing and uh, hopefully uh, it'll work out. So a lot of people are crashing, fail safe and packing up and going home. So we'll see how I'll do. Be Hippie, Hot Nasty and Rigo are shredding it. So I doubt I'll be able to catch them, but uh, hopefully I'll place better than I did this morning. So yeah. <laughs> have the fastest lap. Yeah, I used to. But then, you know. Mr. Hot, hot Nasty Speed hit the track. I was going 45C batteries. It's time for a 90. 90C battery? Yeah. All right, so last time I put a camera at the start finish gate, it kind of went badly for me. So if you guys would do me a huge favor and remind me that it's out here, that'd be great. Seven, seven, oh, that hurts my little heart. Two, seven, seven. Pelotron, you are 11th with a 3-4-4-4. Four, four. right, so that puts a wrap on, what would we call this? Um, Mega Drone next. I think officially it was like into the rabbit hole we go. Something like that was the name of the race. It was Kansas City's Cave Race. Super fun. Got a ton of packs in. I actually was flying pretty decent. My last official heat, I think I crashed two, three, or four times. I still got five laps because I was able to pull off two 17 some odd second laps, which was awesome. My best lap prior to that was actually like 19 seconds. So I bettered myself by two whole seconds. I was cooking, but I had a bunch of turnarounds and crashed and I only got five laps. But still, I was cruising, I was flying well, had a ton of fun. I ended up getting seventh place. This cave atmosphere down here is great. I would say it's technically better than Mega Drone X just because it's dirty. It's definitely not clean, but it's not dirt. You know, like the road is paved, the interior of the room was actually paved. There were real bathrooms, although they were a little rough. And the big thing is that you can drive in. Obviously, if 
there were 150 pilots like we had at Mega Drone X. Everyone wouldn't be able to park under there, but we could shuttle in or something. Pretty stinking cool. So, so anyway, big time shout out to KCFPV from this morning. Travis put on a great race. I got nine different heats in there, which was a ton of fun. I felt good about my flying there. And then tonight, KC Multirotor. Kevin put on a phenomenal race. So, had a blast. As of right now, this is the last race I have on the docket until Sebring. I'm going to be going to Sebring in Florida. Cannot wait. Um, I've got something extra exciting about that trip I want to tell you about, but uh, you'll have to tune in next time on Heart of America FPV. Later. <laughs>